Monday. It's Monday. It's housewifing day. It's what I eat to lose weight, counting calories and comparing points day. And I'm baking and cooking a couple of exciting things today. I've got some exciting mail today, I think, coming. But the problem is I don't actually know what's in the boxes that are supposed to come today. So it's going to be a big surprise to both of us. Very, very exciting things. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's get this day going. So I'm putting together today's pre-workout formula. It varies day to day because I have so many samples and stuff. I literally have all of this stuff from PE Science because I subscribe to their probiotic. And every time I get a monthly shipment of my probiotic, I get like five or six different samples in my box. So this is... <laughs> my my collection i have a bunch of protein for oats that i have to use up i have their new coffee protein that i need to use up it's caffeinated protein powder i've got alphamine i've got half servings of their actual protein powder in here i have high volume which i love to use it is not caffeinated pre-workout but it helps with your pumps and um, you know like weight training and then prolific is also a pre-workout so today i just kind of decided to pair up what i have that matches flavor so i'm going to use this alphamine caffeine powder alongside this raspberry lemonade both of them are raspberry lemonade high volume because today we're doing weight training. And also, I should mention, I'm going to start using my amino IV BCAA samples as well because I have been finding that I've been needing a little something extra because I've been doing lift four and it is intense and my body has been like, whoa, working out too hard, not recovering enough. I drank this the other day and I felt so much better. So I'm going to start regularly incorporating BCAA recovery beverages into my routine. Guess who's back? I'm starting over. Week one. I'm going right back to it because I freaking loved it. And here's the thing, like, it's not like going back to week one has me backtracking to what I was doing eight weeks ago because, ladies and gentlemen, the whole point is to add weight as you get stronger. So I am starting week one with my week eight weights. Does that make sense? So I'm still going to be progressing. I'm still going to be growing and gaining muscle and getting stronger, hopefully more toned, because I will tell you, I'm, I'm starting like, I'm starting to tone up, as I've showed you guys before, but my actual weight loss has not been much, which is fine because I'm gaining muscle. I'm literally gaining, which means I'm not losing weight, but I'm burning fat. I'm getting a little bit trimmer. I've lost a couple of inches, and I'm, most importantly, I'm getting stronger. So I'm just going to hang out with Joel for another eight weeks because I freaking love him. I love my results. Our home gym is coming along nicely. The next vlog that you see, I probably won will not be up here in the loft. Right now I'm in the loft upstairs doing my workout. I won't be up there anymore. I'll be in the basement and I'll show you guys the update of the home gym in a little bit. But first, I have to do some lift. Okay, so here's what's up. Workout part one is complete. I did lift four, week one, day one. Felt really good about it, awesome. Before I go downstairs, show you guys what's going on with the home gym that we're working on building and doing my elliptical workout, I have to start dinner. Dinner is pot roast. Pot roast. Uh, chuck roast was on sale at Target when we were there yesterday. So I was like, you know what? Pot roast sounds great. It's one of my husband's favorite dishes all the way from when his mom used to make it for him. And her way of making it is super, super, super easy. And today I'm going to elevate it just a little bit with a little bit of experimental additions to the pot roast. So usually what she does is just pot roast and carrots and potatoes and the secret ingredient. Are you ready for the secret ingredient? Onion soup mix. Yeah, it's that simple. You pour that in, you add a little bit of water and then you let it cook. I am kind of taking my mother-in-law's recipe and Rachel Hollis's balsamic pot roast recipe and kind of combining them. I'm simplifying Rachel Hollis's version by adding just a little bit of balsamic vinegar and a little bit of soy sauce and some garlic to my mix. And instead of using water, I'm, I'm heating up water as we speak and I'm going to turn it into chicken broth with the better than bullion uh, chicken broth concentrate to add just a little bit more diversity in flavors. I have no idea how it's going to go. Hopefully it'll be good.
finally gotten around to eating today. We're going to call this brunch. It is 10.56 a.m. I have been fasting for over 16 hours now. That was unintentional. I usually stop my fast at 14 hours, but that's okay. I've been busy. I haven't been hungry, so lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it. This is the first thing I'm eating today. Lettuce and three and a half ounces of berries. I have a couple of raspberries in here and the rest of my strawberries. I emptied like four food storage containers making this salad, so I feel very, very accomplished. So we've got the berries, which are zero, the lettuce, which is zero. I have two ounces of smoked salmon on here for three bites on carb conscious and 110 calories. I have half a serving, which is all that was left. I also emptied this out of the Good and Gather goat cheese crumbles. These are really good. They're available at Target. Good and Gather is Target's new brand. Half a serving of that is 40 calories and then I have three quarters of a serving of the Good and Gather fig balsamic vinaigrette dressing. This is also very very good and that's 75 calories for the one and a half tablespoons. Bringing the total value of this salad to six bites on the carb conscious plan and just about 300 calories if my math served me correctly. <laughs> Where to goodness the devil does not want me to vlog today. I have lost no less than three different clips because I clicked record and then the next time I looked at my camera, it was no longer recording. It has battery. It has memory. I don't know what's happening. All right, I wanted to give you guys the home gym update. I can't remember. Did I actually show you guys the elliptical that we got? This is the Matrix A50 Ascent Trainer. Super awesome. I'm really, really loving having an elliptical in the house again. Um, pro tip for people who want to save a little bit of money, at least in the experience that we had, you can pick which console you have. So this is the same trainer that at the YMCA and stuff will have like the touchscreen TV and all the apps and all of that. We ended up getting a really, really basic console and it saved us literally a thousand dollars. So you can use that. <laughs> like what's more important, the piece of equipment or the little fancy technology? Because, and, and we obviously voted for the piece of equipment. And then what we're doing is we're actually working on building our own little home gym here. This floor is rubberized gym floor, um, very similar to the stuff they use in the Beachbody videos and the Lift 4 videos. We got this from the same store that we got the elliptical in. It is just a, what, eight foot by four foot thing. That, like, they're the puzzle pieces. It's real sturdy and real, real good. And then we are working on setting things up. We're waiting on a TV stand, but we did get ourselves a nice big screen TV for down here. And we're going to put it on a movable stand that'll be somewhere over here. So we can move it around and whatnot. And then we can lift four and beach body and all that jazz on this platform here. We'll have the TV there, which we can see from the elliptical machine. And then over here, we want to get some like foam stuff so we can have a core workout area. That is, of course, Little Miss Diva's spot because, of course, Miss Gracie cannot be bothered to actually sit her little tush on the cement floor. It has to be on padding of some kind, so to keep her off of that and that, we had to make her her own little spot, my little diva. Anyway, that's the home gym update. I will show you guys more once it is all set, but I'm really, really excited. We're gonna move all of our weights down here. Like I said earlier, we're gonna do beach body down here and it's going to be a legit little home gym. It'll be put together in little pieces. We'll have some mismatched dumbbells and a whole bunch of random tools, but you know what? It's gonna be functional and it's going to be really awesome to have. All right, I'm not all that hungry, so I'm just having a snack for lunch. This is a healthy eating all the time and go bar. My favorite bars, and this is my favorite of my favorites, the chocolate one. So good. Five points, 210 calories, delicious. Yes, I am listening to Jordan Syatt. This is him doing his weekly live stream in the Inner Circle Facebook group, the paid Facebook group. Loving it. I've asked him a couple questions today. It's awesome. I'm going to eat this, listen to him, and then I have to get back in the kitchen. All right, my friends, welcome back to my kitchen for a new segment called Baking with Brianna. 
kidding but not really kidding because I'm going to bake and I'm going to bake something that is not diet friendly or Weight Watchers friendly or whatever although technically it is my diet friendly because if you're counting calories anything goes. I mean if you're counting points anything goes let's be honest. So you can have whatever you want just in moderation my friends. So I actually calculated the calories and points of this thing last night and I pre-tracked my pot roast dinner and my slice of dessert which I don't even know if I'm gonna want that big of a slice yet already. So basically I went into today already knowing I was gonna spend like half of my calories on dinner and dessert. This dessert that I'm about to make for a twelfth of it and a twelfth of a 9 by 13 pre-greased pan, um, a one twelfth of that is going to be 344 calories and 8 bites on the carb conscious plan on iTrack Bites. So the, all of that being said, what am I making? Well, I am making something from the blog, The Girl Who Ate Everything, which quite frankly, she sounds like my kind of girl. I should get to know this girl. But my husband found out about this on a hockey podcast, of all things, because when hockey hasn't been played, what do you talk about? Apparently you talk about desserts. So he was like, here's the next dessert you're going to make. So while we were at Target this weekend, I grabbed the ingredients that we needed because I only had to buy like three other things. It was It's super simple, super fast. It's called sopapilla cake. It is a Mexican dessert that uses crescent rolls, crescent rolls, and like a cheesecake filling which is just cream cheese, sugar, and vanilla topped with cinnamon sugar. I have no idea how this is gonna go. The guys in the podcast said it was really good. My husband decided he wanted it so I'm making it. I will have the recipe from the original blog, The Girl Who Ate Everything, linked down below and we'll try it later tonight and I'll let you know if it's any good to begin with. in the oven and baking as per usual I have to clean the kitchen for the second time today you guys this thing is making the house smell so good I'm so excited to try this check this out you guys eight hours later and this just falls apart without even trying it's perfect look at that yes Anyway, I have four ounces of meat, three ounces of carrots, and 119 grams of potatoes, which I think ends up being 
eight, nine, ten, ten points, eleven points, something like that.